Good evening. Welcome to the program of studies for the 2023-2024 school year. Unfortunately, Dr. Blair is unable to attend this evening, and we anxiously await her return back to the high school. But we are glad that you are able to make it here tonight so we can share many important details about all the great curricular and extracurricular activities and programs that we offer here at Wissahickon High School. My name is Jim Cairns. I'm Director of Athletics and Activities, and I'll now let the other administrators introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Karen Heaney. I'm one of the assistant principals here at the high school, and I work specifically with students' last names A through G. Hi, I'm Lisa Kelly, and I'm another administrator here at the high school, and I work with students with the last names H through O. And finally, I'm Jim Kelly, the third administrator here at the high school, working with students with the last names P through Z. Good evening. Once again, welcome to the 2023-2024 Program of Studies Night for Wissahiggin High School. We did quickly introduce the administrative team, and I would like to say again that on behalf of Dr. Lynn Blair, she'd like to send her apologies for not being able to be present for this session, but we'll certainly see her and are wishing her the best. Um, we've introduced you to the rest of the um, high school administrative team here, and I just want to, to give a shout out to Dr. Jim Crisfield, Dr. Wanyewe Dewan, and Dr. Jennifer Schmidt, all of whom are very supportive of, of us um, at, at, um, during this course selection process. Some other familiar names, um, or hopefully familiar names that you'll come to get to know are, are, are those belonging to our school counseling team. Antoinette Parada works with students A through DD for students who are in ninth and 10th grade and A through DH for 11th and 12th graders. Kaylin DeBolt works for students who are DE through H, again, for ninth and 10th grade students and DI through HO for next year's 11th and 12th grade students. She also works with our autistic and functional support populations. Marissa Samet works with students last names I through MC in ninth and 10th grade and HP through MC for those 11th and 12th graders. Vince Yasenchek works with students MD through SB. Felicia Glover works with students whose last names begin SC through Z. We also are very fortunate to have a college and career counselor here, Stacy Anderson, as well as a resource counselor named Cassie Allen. At any time, you can reach out to any one of these school counselors to get information or support in the process. So I'd like to spend some time talking to you about the course selection timeline. For course selection, we are again, once again, virtual. Between December and January, students received course selection information. The program of studies was posted to the website and is still available. Teachers are currently working on course recommendations in Infinite Campus. We're hoping that they will be done these recommendations in the next day or two, and we will then release the academic plan to you and your student to review the course, the course recommendations. Next week and through the end of this month, you and your student should be completing the course selection electronically. Then for the five to six weeks that follow sometime towards the beginning of March, counselors will meet with all students to discuss their course selections. Please remember that if you disagree with a teacher recommendation, there is a course waiver process, which will involve parent overrides. Additionally, we do request that you review your students' final course selections and expect course verifications are completed by March 31st. One note about the, the the, the parent or the course overrides. Those conversations should be occurring with the students and the, their school counselors when we have the course selection meetings that are happening during the month of February and the start of March. Additionally, in our program of studies, there's an explanation about alternative coursework. I encourage you to read it if you are interested. In summary, the Wissahiggins School District recognizes that students may want to challenge themselves by taking additional coursework over the summer with the purpose of advancing along a course sequence. In doing so, students must take courses equivalent to the high school curriculum at alternative sites, and there are certain conditions that also must be met. There are deadlines for approval and requirements to earn the credit. The request to participate in alternative coursework for this year is May 5th. Additional specifics can be found in the program of studies. Until March 31st of 2023, students and parents can make requests for changes in course levels or elective courses, but changes after this time or for 
corrections only. We do not allow changes after March 31st because of the staffing implications and the effects it's going to have on the master schedule. We will be well underway in building the master schedule and sections will be created based on the number of students requesting each course. Making changes then impacts teacher schedules and the master schedule in general. So please understand that if we allowed continued changing, master scheduling would be an impossible feat. Once the school year is underway, there's a process that involves parent and student initiated course changes, which would allow a student to move down a level. Level changes are only considered at the midpoint of the first marking period if the student is failing. They've documented that they've received additional supports. The student has made an appointment with their guidance counselor to discuss the change and the impact it's going to have on their schedule. The teacher has been consulted. The parent has requested in writing, the has made the request in writing that is, and the change will only be done with an administrator's approval and a grade of W will appear on the transcript if it's done after the first six weeks of the school year. Of course, there's also an option once the school year starts for students to move up a level. In this case, the teacher will recommend the change in placement. Parents and student will meet with the teacher and the counselor, and this often requires a conversation with the prior year's teacher. This slide is an overview of our graduation requirements. Beginning with the class of 2027, to move from ninth to 10th grade, students need a minimum of six and a quarter credits. To move from 10th to 11th, the students need a total of a minimum of 12.75 credits. Again, to move from 11th to 12th grade, students need a minimum of 19 and a quarter credits. Students in the class of 2027 and beyond need a minimum of 27 and five one hundredths or 27.05 credits to earn a Wissahickon High School diploma after four years. The breakdown is essentially four credits of English, four credits of social studies, seven credits of math and science combined, one credit of wellness, a half credit of health, one credit of physical education, two credits of world language, a quarter credit of the new freshman seminar course, and eight tenths of a credit of the College and Career Pathways portfolio. The remaining credits then are filled with electives. For our current ninth and 10th and 11th grade students, you are not required to have taken the freshman seminar course for graduation. As such, your graduation credit requirement is, a, is 0.25 or a quarter credit less than those for the class of 2027 and beyond. An important note is that students must have a full program schedule that includes eight scheduled course blocks with no more than one of those eight blocks scheduled as a, as a study hall at any time. I would now like to introduce Mr. Jim Kelly to present the next portion of this presentation. Good evening, I'm Jim Kelly, one of the other assistant principals here at the high school. I'm gonna spend some time reviewing the major changes to courses for the next school year. Next year, Wissahickon High School is requiring all freshmen, beginning with the class of 2027, to enroll and successfully complete course 9005, our freshman seminar course. This is a one marking period required course, and it's going to be taken during the student's freshman year. Throughout the course, students will be oriented to Wissahickon's program of studies and Trojan pathways. As part of this course, students will develop the portfolio of resources. The areas of concentration for this course are executive functioning skills and leadership, college and career readiness, and financial literacy. This course will match with a marking period study hall for all ninth graders. Additionally, next year, American political science is now going to be renamed American government. It's a 12th grade social studies course, and it is offered at both the academic and honors level. Also, next year, we will be offering a new AP world history course number 1690. This will be for our 10th grade students. Finally, our last major change, Social Lab is getting a new name. It will now be referred to as Senior Internship. The course will run the same as it has done for the last few years. The next two slides will highlight changes to the North Monco Technical Career Center. Unfortunately, next year, the Career Center will no longer offer drafting and design, allied health technology, and horticulture. Also, the biomedical technology will have a change. Students will no longer receive eight college credits through the biomedical technology program. Instead, they will earn dual enrollment credits for an introductory survey course in biotechnology. 
Next year, North Monca will offer two new courses. The first, Property Maintenance and Renovation and Social Media Marketing. There's more information on this slide, but please reach out to the school counselor to find out more information. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. I will now take a moment to talk about Keystone exams. The Pennsylvania State Legislation passed Act 136, changing the graduation requirements related to Keystone exam proficiency for students. This is now a high school graduation requirement beginning with the class of 2023. Remember that there are alternative ways or pathways to demonstrate your proficiency. Those can be found on our website. We also offer remediation supports for students, support during IE periods and office hours, and students can make multiple attempts to attain proficiency on the Keystone exams. Our ninth grade academy is very unique to our ninth grade class. The core selection is no different and there are no scheduling restrictions because of the academy. The core teachers on each team meet twice a cycle and every student will have a core team of teachers. This time is important because it provides teachers with time for planning and facilitating communication and conferences with parents. The purpose of this academy is to help ease the transition for our ninth grade students. This slide shows a sample of our student schedule. At first glance, our schedule does look a bit confusing, but I assure you that once you understand how it works, it is not that hard to follow. Here at the high school, we have a six day rotating cycle. As you can see, the structure of our schedule has days one through six across the top, and the course sessions are down the left-hand side. Sessions A, B, and C, are when lunches are scheduled, and lunches can change depending on the day. You may also have noticed that the schedule is color-coded. The same color equals the same course or class, so it makes it easy to see how your courses rotate throughout the six-day cycle. Homeroom is a separate session on days one through four, but on days in five and six, attendance will be taken in your first session course. The last thing you will notice about our schedule is that we have an IE period. IE stands for intervention and enrichment. These sessions will occur during sessions three on days five. On day six, you will have an office hours. This is a time for you to meet with your teachers to gain additional support. We know that the transition from eighth to ninth grade is a big one. Because of this, we have additional members of the Wissahickon High School community that will continue to help the transition throughout the course of the year. Our WHS Ambassadors Club make new students feel welcomed and comfortable at the high school. Our Whistling program is made up of upperclassmen. Their main goal is to help ease the transition into ninth grade. They will push into ninth grade homerooms during the year and will run academic and social activities throughout the school year. Additionally, they organize a link flyover day in May for eighth graders and will run our ninth grade orientation in August. They are a wonderful group of students who really just want to help our ninth grade students feel a sense of belonging at the high school. I would now like to introduce school counselor, Ms. Antoinette Parada. Thanks, Mrs. Kelly. My name is Antoinette Parada and I'm one of the counselors at the high school. North Monco Technical Career Center offers a wide variety of programming for students with all different interests. The following clusters are offered, construction trades, cosmetology, culinary arts, engineering, manufacturing design, health and human services, power transportation, and visual communications. For ninth graders, now is the most important time to think about the decision to attend North Monco Technical Career Center. If students do not apply and get accepted as a 10th grader, it becomes increasingly more difficult to get in as an 11th grader due to limited availability in many of the programs. A counselor from North Monco Technical Career Center presented to all ninth graders back on December 20th and provided an overview of their offerings. On January 25th, we will be taking interested students on a tour of the tech school. Permission forms are now available in the counseling office to be picked up and must be returned by January 18th. After this, if your child is still interested in attending, you can attend their open house with them on Thursday, February 2nd from five to seven. If your student is interested in applying, they will then need to pick up an application and return it to their school counselor on February 24th. Hi, my name is Stacey Anderson and I'm the College and Career Counselor at Wissahickon High School. My role at the school is unique and designed to support students and their families as they begin to plan for their post-secondary goals. Whether that be college, trade or technical school, the military, full-time employment, or a gap year. Families begin planning for post-secondary paths at a variety of times throughout high school. 
Some choose to start early while others hold off until a bit later. Because of this, I'm available, I'm available resource to any student or parent, regardless of grade level. In this role, I also work to create relationships with our college partners, both those that visit the 11th and 12th graders in the building, as well as by personally visiting college campuses around the country. These connections allow me to stay current with what's trending in college admissions. The school counseling team and I work together to provide educational opportunities for our students and parents about paths, trends, and updates through class visits, evening programs, and communication. SCORE is the tool used at Wissahickon to support post-secondary planning. Students are introduced to SCORE during course selection meetings in ninth grade, and parents can reach out to any counselor or myself to get a parent account tied to their child or children at the high school. On the SCORE platform, students can search for colleges, see important admissions data, create college favorites list, save extracurricular activities, and engage in research related to majors or careers. We encourage all of our students to get familiar with this resource as it will ultimately be the primary tool used through the application process during senior year. As we begin conversations related to courses for the 2023-2024 school year, advanced planning may help a student be more prepared academically with the appropriate program or coursework to reach their post-secondary goals. While our primary goal is course selection for next year, it can also be helpful at this time to plan out future courses to ensure that prerequisites can be met or taken at the right time. Our school counseling team and I will be available during the session to answer any questions that you may have regarding courses or post-secondary planning. And finally, thank you for joining us this evening. On behalf of Dr. Lynn Blair, the entire Wissahickon administrative team, and all staff members, we appreciate your attention to this presentation. For the second part of this evening, there's many options of breakout rooms for parents and students to ask questions of teachers. Just a few of those sessions is, cap is captured for you below. Please click on the links that were sent to you via email to join those meetings. These meetings will remain open until 8 p.m. this evening. The links are all posted as well to the Wissahickon High School website. Upon joining a meeting, it is first come, first served. Please wait until it is your turn to ask a question. Once again, thank you for joining us this evening.